What's going on everyone? Welcome back to J Ruth Gaming. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the newest NFL hanger boxes. That's right. We have, oh yeah, we have five of them here today so we have the video broken into two sections brutal truth where we take the product and we go line by line to see if the product is good bad and give you our honest opinions about them and then the rip where if you're a professional and you'll need the information you just want to see the cards we will rip open all five of these hanger boxes either way hope you guys enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe up here to our youtube channel Check us out on our Instagram and TikTok account. Make sure the notification bell is turned on on all three platforms. And if you guys want to be part, this is fun, of any of our live stream events on any of those three platforms, check out our website at jruthgaming.com and get involved. All right, crew, let's go. Let's hit some of these massive cards in this product. Let's start off, though, with Brutal Truth. Welcome to Brutal Truth. We're going to take these prism hangers, flip them over, and check out what's inside. And above my head, we will have clips to show you guys some stuff that we have found. And what I want to talk about here. So if you already know information, or if you don't care about the information, you just want to see the card, you want to see these massive hits that we are going to hit. Yeah. <laughs> Skip to the rip. All right, here we go. So we'll get our lucky... Charizard pin out here. That's right. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Charizard travels with us here. Hangs out with us. Part of all our box breaks, our rip and ship events here on Friday night. So, if you guys want to be part of those events, by the way, Bum My Head is the most recent break that we have available on their website, jerrysgaming.com. Come join up. If you're watching this in the future and that event already passed, make sure you just stay updated on that website. We'll uh, always have something available. All right. 20 cards per hanger. This is going to be Richardson, Shroud. Look for Purple Wave and Gold Wave Prisms. Hmm. Look for Purple Wave and Gold Wave Prisms. Same thing. Why is that a big deal, ladies and gentlemen? It's because the purple's out of 99. And the gold is out of 10. It's massive. It's just massive. So I will skim through here so you guys can see what is actually in here. Um, there is one negative with this product. Eh, maybe two. Maybe two. Besides that, there's really nothing else that's negative about this product. So, before I go any further, I just had the hobby box here just as a placeholder. What I've highlighted here is Gold Wave. That is the product I'll be seeing here. You'll all see right next to it, Gold Shimmer, which that's hobby. And then plain gold, which is technically hobby also. So, the fact that Gold Wave is here... There's three golds out of ten. Okay, so meaning Shroud will have technically three variations of a gold out of ten. And they're all going to be different. This gold wave is going to be the biggest card that you can pull from Prism Retail. Period. End of story. That's it. That's it. So, straight up. These Prism Hangers are the best Prism retail product that dropped this year. Period. End of story. Blasters, they weren't that great. Straight up. Did a review on it. The Megas, we liked because of case hits. We liked it. Thumbs up. The Value Packs, we didn't even do. They were that bad, in my opinion. We didn't even do them. The retail boxes, I liked it because they gave you three different kind of checkerboard hits per box. Did all the reviews on all those. You can check them out. They're back on our NFL checklist. But these hanger boxes, crew. This is, this is I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this a little bit differently this, this time. When talking about, hey, what's the ceiling, right? 
You know, I don't like retail because the ceiling is, is always going to be a set height. Right, your case hit's going to be there. The silvers are going to be there. You, you, there. There's going to be that ceiling for retail that you just can't get past because it's retail. And you need low-numbered cards, right? You need these hobby exclusive, the big auto, the big case hit hobby to like break into next big boy territory. Crew, this is it. This is it. This gold wave out of 10 is a big, big deal. I'm telling you, these day one are already way over. They're way over 2x, and rightfully so. I personally am giving the green light for any hanger for about 50 bucks or less. Any, any more than that is probably a little rich. Little rich! But my crew, you're talking out of 99s, big bucks. Out of 10, hobby level hits. Hobby level hits. Above my head right now. Out of 225 grand. A grand. A grand. January 18th. I'm assuming I didn't check. That's probably roughly around the time where he was just eliminated or just getting into playoffs. Whatever. There it is, out of 149. Still grand. Guys, there's not many sales of Shroud. I'm showing Shroud, by the way, because he is the best top-tier valued product from this year's Prism at the time of this recording. It could all change. He could be the worst next year. I don't know, right? No one knows. The beauty of the industry. Beauty of the industry. By the way, nothing I say is financial advice. This is what we say, crew. This is just what we see. Of course, we're going to talk some numbers because this is what we do. It's what we say. So, the out of 99. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's going to be more than that. Just as. Just as. We, hit, we, had a, we were promoting and we ran a huge, massive hobby case break for Prism two, three weeks ago now. We had a silver variation out of 25, disco out of 25, and it was worth five grand. 25 out of 25. So out of 99 is going to fall somewhere between a grand and five grand, right? So three, maybe, maybe 3K. And he's eliminated, he's done. And I'm watching some prices for Shroud, and they are starting to go down a little bit. So to still get that big number in true off-season football right now is massive, right? Just massive. So what's the 10 going to be? Is the out of 10 going to be a 10 grand card? Which is unheard of for retail. It's mainly hobby. Talk to new people all the time. Trade shows, here on the on web, on Instagram, wherever we're doing this. Talk to people all the time. Retail only has that certain ceiling. I can't, I can get a big card, but I can't get the massive card. Until now. Until now. Now, Donruss, right? Optic, right? They have big case hits. They do have NFL shields for some of them. Those are going to be big cards for sure. Prism never had that. Okay, Prism, you're just working off the parallels, the case hits. Very few, if any, numbered cards were in Prism. You got, guys got out of 10. This is, like, this is nuts to me. This is something I try my best not to encourage just clearing the shelf if you find these. But if you don't, someone else will. And there's, there could be out of 10s in here. There could be. So we pulled, um, we last weekend, we were, every Friday we go live, as I stated earlier. And we had rip and ship, and we ripped a couple of these in a box break format and a rip and ship format. I think we did both. And one of our professionals did hit a purple. Uh, it was a base card. Didn't check the price or any of them, but we still had a purple. Now, another one of our professionals were saying out of a stock of 40, they were averaging one purple and one gold 
slash per ten. So we have ripped a, we ripped a bunch of them, and we've we can't confirm that we haven't ripped a ton of them, but we did rip at least one sleeve, and we did get a purple technically. So I'm excited to see what we get today. Very hopeful. But crew, just like keeping it very real, brutal truth about products. I have bashed products before. I have given products great reviews before. This product I love. Okay, remember Prism, and then you have Optic, then Donruss, and then the rest kind of falls for the base cards. And I say it like that because that's how you have to value certain sets, right? If the base cards are good, the base cards are already up here, and they're the worst product you can get. Worst item you can get in the product and everything else is going to be better right if your base card is down here it's it's tough to get that big card right so prism you're listen you need one shroud one richardson get the ton of rookies base you're fine it's a good win it's a good win grade your stuff good win but my goodness someone out there is going to get a hanger box for 50 bucks or lower and pull a CJ Shroud out of 10 gold wave. And from what I can see and like the calculations we can do and some other bigger cards I've seen from Hobby Sell, I'm guessing it's going to be over 5K. Has to be. Just has to be. Has to be. Out of retail, crew. Out of retail. I'm going to wrap up Brutal Truth. I want to get into these real, real bad. So we're going to dive right into the rev very shortly. Make sure you guys comment down below, though. Knowledge is power here, crew. Knowledge is power. So if you have something positive to say, comment down below. Even if you have something a little bit negative to say, just keep it friendly. Keep it kid-friendly. Only thing, only thing we ask. So if you hit purples, love to know about it. If you hit any golds, love to know about it comment below appreciate you guys let's dive right in oh i'm so excited here we go the rip coming up right now here we go the rip we have five of these hanger boxes we already prepped the one for what charge are so we can talk about the product to a kid reporter card we'll just throw that over there for now and uh, let's bring lucky charizard out there he is if you guys haven't seen him in brutal true there he is fan favorite for everyone he typically no pun intended here brings the fire that's right for all our rip and ship and box breaks events here on friday nights which tonight is actually friday night but if you're watching it live by the way while this dropped here or if you watch this over the weekend, next Friday, then will be another live stream event where we typically do a box break to kick the night off, some rip and ship products, whatever it is. We just like having a good time. Sometimes I do stuff for the PC as well, just to keep it, uh, well, I save, I, I don't know, not really to keep it anything, just it's what I do. I try to save my ripping to what you guys just kind of hang out and do it, so... Even if you guys have a spare monitor and you guys uh, want to hang out with us on Friday, save your ripping for us, and let's just go rip together. Pretty, pretty cool. All right. So we'll dive in here. I haven't seen... We did a couple of these last weekend for rip and ship and a box break. I haven't seen any, like, rookie in the window. So I don't think you have to really worry about that. So I'm um, hopeful today we get one of the massive, Purple or gold? Purple or gold parallels from this product. Come on, just be here already. Just be here. Let's set up some stands in the background just because. Why not? We're going to film anyway, right, crew? Here we go. Could be exciting. So we have five of them today. True review, we did give it a pretty big thumbs up for Brutal Truth. I won't go into the details again. If you guys want to watch it back, obviously, skip on back and watch it. We're going to cheat every one of them. So that middle card there, see how it's silver? That would be, from what we have seen, the purple or gold. Because we've hit purple already last week in one of our videos. So I'm assuming that's where the gold is going to B. All right, here we go. To the rookies! Very nice. 
this is going to be the green wave. So you're going to get majority of this stuff here. These green ones. Oh, man. Colts would have been nice Richardson there. Would have been an awesome Richardson, personally. All right, here we go. A Jalen Green. Man, so we got a Green, and we got A-Rod. A-Rod himself. There it is. Aaron Rodgers. Pretty cool. Two cool color matches. I do love that Green Wave vibe. It's cool. It's cool for sure. So those are going to be our perils from that box. This will most likely be a quick rip, guys. So, uh, here we go. Here we go. We have Super Bowl. What's going on in the industry right now? We have the Super Bowl just happened. Congratulations to the Chiefs for being our Super Bowl winners of this year. The Niners did not, uh, did not come out on top, but we'll see what happens in the offseason. I think a lot of people are going to be moving. I think it's going to be an interesting offseason. We're already seeing some players take a slight nose dive down but nothing too too crazy so that typically happens though with the off season after the super bowl you kind of just see everything kind of slowly dipping down for off season so if you are in a buying market if you're in the buying mood now is your market i should say rogers again how about that so get out there and get your cards while they're on a little bit of a discount and what a better way to do it than getting yourself a hanger and hunting for these gold and purple waves. I'm super excited about this stuff, guys. I really, really am. I only picked five out, um, to be honest with you. I wanted to get a lot more, but I figured save them for you, crew. Above my head there, we have the box break coming up. Uh, that we're doing actually a few hours if you're watching this within the first couple hours grab a spot come hang out We actually have a bunch available on the website jerrysgaming.com If you guys just want to take one for yourself go for it and good luck to you if you do all right I would love to get at least one Decent I'll take that one decent green or parallel any parallel I'll take of a decent rookie now, I will take this because I am actually grading a bunch of him right now. So, I'll actually take that for the win. And it looks like we're getting... I don't know about you guys. If you have ripped anything crazy for the hangers. But it looks like that we're getting like one veteran quarterback in a green per. Which is cool. Which is definitely, definitely cool. So, we'll take that. I like it. I grade... I grade a lot of him. I'm getting a lot of his RPAs in. Simply hits a track hits. We're going to put that there. Simply because we do a lot of trade shows. And Raider Nation is super strong. They're awesome crew. I love talking to Raider fans at trade shows. Because they're just, they're just cool people. And they love football. So now that this is the year that they actually have a couple Raider rookies to collect. I like to at least have some available. Oh boy, so that black card is going to be a green one and looks like a silver. So no color so far, but let me let me say, if you skipped Brutal Truth, the gold out of 10 wave is going to be insane. Someone will be, I wish that was silver, someone's going to pull, buy a hanger for about 50 bucks or less, and pull... A CJ Shroud Gold Wave out of 10. That card is going to be absolutely massive. Congrats if you do. Make sure you comment below. I would love to know if you hit. Steelers! Jones going to be our rookie there. Emergent and a very nice Justin Fields. Prismatic card. Cool card. And I'm actually looking forward to see what happens to Justin in the offseason with the Bears. All right, guys. Last hanger bat. Hanger box, excuse me. Do we get anything? I don't see any gold or purple, unfortunately. Which well, just means we're saving for you guys for our live stream events. We might rip a couple of these tonight. So if you're watching, jump on it. But like getting the rookies guys like this is is a is a nice golf clap, if you will. Take them. Come on, Eagles. I got Brian Dawkins. There it is. We'll add it to the PC wall right behind us there. You got a max jersey. You got Dawkins on the other side too. 
We'll add it to the PC. Might as well. All right. Bengal Rook. So no big Rook. Okay. All right. I'll take it. I'll take that. I'm actually seeing a lot of young cards getting graded. You never know, crew. You just never know. This is what's fun about the offseason now. You can start theory crafting, getting singles, grading your stuff while you can. I will take that as a win for today's video. We had we actually got to fill our two stands with two quarterbacks. Not the big quarterbacks that we wanted, but guys that we are currently collecting. Do something a little bit different than, than the rest. And we got a PC car, Mr. B Doc himself. Yes, a sleeve and loader for your PC. And start a little display in your background. Collect it, have a good time. There we go for the PC. All right, crew. Like I said, short video today. Appreciate your support. We'll see you guys during the live video if you're watching this within the first couple hours. If not, we'll see you guys next Friday. Have a good one, everyone. Take care. Have a great night.